they started their ministry and they started going to the uh to the uh, city council mm -hmm. and going to the meetings there at the city council and started educating the people and they were able to get the city council uh turned around and got the the leftist socialist people out of office yeah. and got common sense americans in there and they led the way in the united states well in california I should say for liberty of you don't masking is useless now mm -hmm. as soon as i said that i'll be canceled from one of our social media <laughs> platforms but on rumble you can find us on rumble uh but they discovered that it's useless now and i and i have people that know anthony fauci and they discover what a narcissist and in a He's not even a good physician. <laughs> and so I, I had a dear, I have a dear friend down in Louisiana uh, who sued because he owned several grocery stores. He had to sue the federal government to take a stand against, what do you mean? I've got over 500 employees, that taxation and the burden and right. having to pay money and all this stuff. And he sued the federal government. He thought there's going to be a bunch of people with him. And he was the only one in the yeah. entirety of the United States to bring suit, and he won. It went to the Supreme Court, and awesome. he won. And because of him and his stand, that's why we got a lot of these things rescinded. Wow. One man can make a difference. Absolutely. And I, and I tell you what, I just feel it in my spirit right now. That's exactly what you're doing. One man can make a difference. One lady can make a difference. In the school system, you've got great support. But more importantly than that, Pastor, you've got the support of our God in heaven who's called you for such a time as this. And I'm telling you, the, you guys ain't seen nothing yet. God is about to do something incredible for that. that. Amen. I just sense in my spirit. Anything you'd like to say before we just say night, night? I would just simply say that, you know, one, I really appreciate you letting us come on and and speak today, and, and I, I would agree with you that I, I think it's not just that the Lord's done something with us. I do believe He's done something with us, but I believe that we're seeing this, we're seeing a hunger across our, the church body. That's what I want to say. I was going to say the nation, but really the truth is the church body is hungry. I think, I think, Amen. The, Amen. I think the nation is, there's some in the nation, there's pockets that are seeing the truth, but I think there's yeah. a hunger growing yeah. in the church yeah. body. We realize, we're beginning to realize we're hungry, that we've been lacking for years. I, I feel like we're in that, you know, Ezra and Nehemiah time. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. and we're, we're ready to rebuild. We're ready to see something happen. And so I think, you know, I'm seeing it as a pastor. I'm seeing it in the, in the local church, but I think in the church at large, the body of Christ in America, we're ready to take sword in one hand and trowel in the other and Amen. build the wall. Amen. Yeah. yeah, I led a church in a, in a uh, Nehemiah fast mm. uh, leading up to a certain day mm. that we were going to kick off something. And I say, and one of the things people had to fast was social media, mm -hmm. or That's a good one to fast you know, for. or whatever. You know what I fasted yeah. during that that's, uh, that Nehemiah fast? Espresso. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that was important to me, you know. Like, sister, anything you'd like to share before we just wrap up this evening? Um, I would just like to share for for believers out there who are wondering what can you do, what how can you get involved? I would just tell you, pray, seek the Lord, submit your gifts and talents that he's given you, submit those to him and then be bold and move forward. You've got nothing to lose. You're on his team <laughs> yeah. and, and we're gonna win. Um, so just, you know, you've got nothing to lose, go for it. Get yourself involved in your church, encourage your church to take part in, in the effort that Salt and Light is uh, with the school and perhaps open a school of your own. Don't Amen. be afraid, just go Amen. for it. Thanks so much. God bless you. Thanks for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. Friends, thanks for tuning in this evening. I find great hope and encouragement, especially when I see people like uh, Pastor Walker and uh, Senator Tishner taking the time to stand tr for truth and for God's Word. You and I need to be mindful that there is always hope, and the hope that we have is in Christ Jesus. We should never bend our knee to any organization, any government, any institution other than God. He is our hope. He is our purpose. He is the reason that we live and breathe. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting uh, Firebase. Be sure to order coffee from our website, firebasecoffee.com, and support us as best you can. Until next week, God bless you. Mm -hmm.